yeah, in this beautiful place that we're at, I'm actually going to be doing some work. We are not always on vacation and uh, nor choose to be because, you know, this is our life. We are Gay and Robert. Five years ago, we quit our jobs, sold our house and all of our possessions and began living the dream of traveling the world with only backpacks on our backs. After flying over 300,000 miles and visiting 82 countries, COVID brought us to a screeching halt. True to our fashion, we improvised and bought a brand new van and built it out in just six weeks to explore the United States until international travel opens up. Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is going to be a normal day here in Santorini, a normal day of, of uh, living. Um, I have to go do some grocery shopping, which I am currently doing and heading down to the little town here, the little village that has all the restaurants and the little grocery stores um, down below from where we're staying. I have to do that is on my agenda. I also have to get some laundry done. Um, and the great thing about the place that we're staying at actually has laundry in it. So I'll be doing that today. And I'm also going to spend most of the day doing um, video editing, you know. Yeah, in this beautiful place that we're at, I'm actually going to be doing some work. We are not always on vacation and uh, nor choose to be because, you know, this is our life and we need to have some downtime. And that means just doing normal things. And it feels sometimes so weird that this feels normal. Last night when we were sitting watching some YouTube um, videos, I heard a noise outside the window. And for a split second, I had to think about where I was because I felt like I was very comfortable and back home uh, in Wisconsin and I'm like no wait we're in Santorini I always have these quick little uh, reality checks sometimes trying to figure out where it is that we currently are and what that says to me is I'm super comfortable or we're super comfortable anywhere where that we are at and any place that we go we can settle in and and be fine with it and not feel anxious about it or miss the location or miss the home so that's what makes our travel um, very easy so as I'm headed down to the market this morning um, I'm walking through all these little alleyways and these quaint little um, houses just what you would expect in Santorini all the whitewashed walls some of the old remnants or walls are still um, behind me, as you can see here, too, and not whitewash, which gives it a lot of character. But in front of me, I'm walking um, by another beautiful little church and a uh, castle, remnants of a castle that used to be on this section of the island. And, uh, you know, these are the views that I'm looking at on my way to get groceries this morning and a cappuccino. I'm going to turn the camera around and do a flip side here so you can see exactly where it is that I am at without having the camera face me. Here's one of the many churches. This one's not blue domed for some reason, and I'm not sure why. And this one's... Um, really in uh, good shape compared to some other ones, but maybe because it's located next to the castle. There's a grape vineyard here on this, uh, not a grape vineyard, but a um, little trellis of grapes here next to this church. And then here's the castle in front of me. And yes, when you're in countries like this, you are free to walk into places. Uh, it allows you to go inside. So I will take you in there and we can see what the inside of this once castle looked like. 
It's the Venetian castle of Akrotiri. Good morning. You can walk all the way up on these steps. Oh, that is beautiful. It's a great painting. Little chair here. Oh, what a super cute place. sure what the sign says and it's not in pristine shape and in the United States you would not be allowed to walk in amongst this area but that's the benefits of other country and not having safety quote safety measures in place here I am walking to the top of it now and you have this amazing view from up here. You can see there's a cruise ship in down in um, the bay there. And here is a view from the castle. We are staying right, I was just gonna say, right by the blue domed building. Um, but <laughs> it's directly right over there and then that overlooks this entire area and then here we have another church on this side of the castle here is a buddy following me that I didn't realize was behind me not too many stray dogs on the island here Lots of cats though, and they're all very well taken care of. This one doesn't have a collar on, so I think he's probably is a stray, um, maybe looking for some food, but he's healthy. All right, we're gonna make our way back up to the top of the castle. I'm gonna flip you back around again. And now we're walking back up to the top. Yeah, isn't it crazy? This is where I'm walking to get groceries, so I thought I would take you along. And this is normal living, exploring things like this on your way to your grocery store. And let's head back down out of the wind. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to make my way to the grocery store. Go get a cappuccino. And we're back out. All right, so now let's walk on down to the town where I get groceries and a cappuccino. Good morning. these places are just so amazing. Santorini is everything that you imagine and have seen and more. It's not just the houses, the natural beauty and the beaches and the water and there's a ton to do on the Greek islands here. How can I complain about being where I'm at and living, quote, a normal life and going to the grocery store? I can't. There's no way. And I don't, I don't feel that way, honestly. I mean, what I do love is just chilling and hanging out here, um, going down and seeing what the local people are doing and... Uh, 
going to hang out and have a cappuccino. But the great thing is I get to take you along and show you where that is located. So this is about a five minute walk from our house. Then you have this quaint little town area with this Again, beautiful, unusual church that I've never seen before. This pristine courtyard, picturesque courtyard. All these restaurants downtown here. Downtown, there's uh, maybe maybe six restaurants, one grocery store. But I love having this so close to where we're staying because then I can just walk down here and get what I need and we can come down for dinner at night or I can get a cappuccino in the morning. Right now it's very quiet because it's only 9 a.m. here. But yeah, this is, this is where I am currently staying and we're currently living until for the next four days. So hope you enjoyed this brief video. I just wanted to do you do a normal day in the life of uh, living in Santorini, Greece. And so next up for me is going into the grocery store and getting some groceries and doing some laundry and video editing. Woohoo! Thanks for watching, guys. And we will see you on the next video. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Sound right, boys.